Friday, August 2nd, 2024. I have been traveling, so I haven't been keeping up. Um, I, I, I've missed a lot of television, um, but uh, I just want to get uh, just for a hot second onto the um, Trump's appearance at uh, the Black Journalists Conference. Um, you know, Rachel Scott <laughs> asked him uh, if Kamala Harris deserved to be the VP or if she was in DEI hire. And his answer was so twisted and bizarre. He didn't, he pretended not to know what DEI meant. So she defined it as um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, and he said he didn't know what that really meant. And what does that really, you know, what does that really mean? And I don't know if he was playing dumb or if he just doesn't really fucking know um, what DEI is. But then he talked about um, Kamala, that she was always Indian and now suddenly she became black. Um, and he's getting a lot of flack for it, which he should. But um, especially when you're saying that to a, friend, a bunch of, you know, African-American journalists. Uh, but he, I I honestly believe that he, in his head, was conflating Nikki Haley and Kamala Harris. Haley Harris, they both have K's in their first name. They're both women of color who have been his opponent um, politically. I think he 100% just doesn't, just didn't in, know the difference between those two people because um, that's how far his dementia is. He just, he can't, he couldn't delineate that. Um, and that's why he kept going on about she was Indian and then suddenly she was black. And but when Kamala Harris is always identified as black. Um, so, and I don't know that anybody's really talking about that in terms of his mental um, uh uh, decline and um, you know cognitive ability, uh, but the rest of the whole thing was just bad shit. Um, it, it, you know, it, <laughs> he said he would pardon uh, the January sixth um, terrorists that are in jail. He's like, yeah, if they're innocent, and and he was like, but they've been convicted. Oh yeah, but that's a tough system. He meaning it was a rigged system. Like he's just yeah, they're innocent. I'm gonna. Um, He's just sort of doubling down so hard on the crazy. And the further that he's getting sort of picked on and lambasted by it, because the press is now starting to be like, ah, uh, I mean, they're still not doing a great job at it. Um, and, you know, the reason that he was, he was like a half an hour late to that show, to that stage um, for that, uh, for that conference, because he was insisting that they not fact check him in real time. <laughs> he wasn't going to go out there if they were going to fact check him. And it was like, of course, they, they you don't even have to have notes um, for half of the shit that he says um, because it's just so blatantly wrong. Um, so, you know, I love that he's he's getting roasted from that. And like the more that he speaks, the more he's digging his own grave. Um, and his his running mate isn't helping. Um, he's at the at the border. To, you know, referring to uh, Kamala as the border czar, which she never was. Um, and her job was to work with foreign governments to stop the people from immigrating and, and what can we do to make their lives better there um, so that they stop leaving and coming uh, across that border. Um, and, you know, stupid J.D. Vance says he refers to the uh, Harris administration, which it isn't. Um, I love how they've already elevated her to president. Um, nice promotion. And if you're making people think of her as the president already, um, I'm not sure that that's really winning your case. Um, forgetting the entire part. I mean, the, the, the border deal is, the, the border argument is so ridiculously dismissed by the Republican bill that was put to vote that the Republicans killed because Trump very publicly said, well, if you fix the border, it looks good for Biden and that's bad for me. So let's not <laughs> like, ugh. um, and then he said at some point, uh, cause he was criticizing her for, um, you know, doing a little code switch. She was doing a thing in, uh, in Atlanta and she gave a little Southern drawl about something, you know, and like, like, you know, that ain't what we looking for or something. I don't know what she, I don't know what she said. But, um, you know, when you're sort of speaking to a crowd and you just like it, 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 that kind of thing, that's about sort of being human and relatable. Um, and he's like, where does this Southern accent come? She's from Vancouver. Okay, she's from Oakland, California. Um, 
and she did go to high school in Montreal because her mother was a professor at McGill University. Um, and I don't know if confusing two of the largest cities of your closest ally and closest neighbor to the North um, is a, a, you know, a, a great resume boost for someone who wants to be second in command at uh, uh, of the United States, um, you know, and at the uh, um, uh, at the uh, journalists' event when Trump was asked if JD Vance is ready on day one, I don't think he knew what the what that question meant either. Um, you know, they're all good, and a vice president doesn't really matter which who you pick. Way to you know, way to devalue the guy that you've been touting as. Um, uh, as your number two. So I, I, I just wanted to like, just throw in my two cents about that whole thing because it's so fucking ridiculous. Um, and I think that there are so many moments in that where you can really see his cognitive ability. There's also a moment when Rachel Scott had turned her back to him and was talking to the other or listening to the other journalists. And he reached across and stole her water bottle and then twisted the cap on it. Like, I don't know if he was trying to twist it on tighter or something and then put it back. And like like a sneaky little kid, it was bizarre. Um, anyway, you know, more of this, please. The more he looks like an asshole, um, the less people are going to vote for him. So that's, that's one in our favor. Um, and, uh, you know, Harris is kind of killing it this, um, uh, this la the latest development in the Middle East, I, I I think if she still talks tough about Netanyahu while still being a supporter of Israel, um, I think that's going to be really helpful. But, uh, you know, we still await the VP pick. They're supposed to campaign in Philadelphia on Tuesday. So I'm wondering if she's going to wait until like a Sunday afternoon drop, <laughs> uh, like the announcement of her sort of elevation happened two weeks ago uh, on a Sunday afternoon. So we'll see. Uh, we'll be back at it next week, um, unless something, of course, you know, catastrophic or super exciting happens. Have a good weekend.